Hello, good evening. I am Kelly Kopinski. I am the leader of Team Grace. Thank you on behalf of our team, all of um, our team members who have helped us um, and invited you to this challenge this week. I am loving seeing all of your comments, all of your testimonies, and helping many of you troubleshoot some things as well. Because as you guys have seen, the body cloth can be a little bit different for everybody, right? And so it's finding like just what works for you with your body, with your skin, um, because our bodies are all just beautifully made um, a little different, right? All right, cousins of the body cloth. And I think this is gonna help answer some of the questions you guys have had this week about like, well, what about this? And what about this? And maybe the body cloth isn't like perfect for this. Uh, we're gonna cover that right now about, you know, maybe a couple other items with Norax to help with that. So one of the biggest things I have heard people say is like, oh my gosh, in the shower, it's just harder to get that body cloth to kind of glide smoothly on our body. And I've been saying, stay tuned for our body cloth mitt. Okay. Um, sorry, mine is still a little bit wet from being used this morning. I grabbed it quick out of my shower. Um, but this is our body cloth mitt and it's literally a mitt that goes on your hand. My routine at home is that I keep my mitt hanging in the shower. I have like a suction command hook in there that I keep this hanging on. And then I keep my body cloth hanging up next to my kitchen, or sorry, my bathroom sink. So my body cloth I use to wash my face, remove all my makeup, and my body cloth I'm using in the shower, um, both for shaving and for washing my body with just water. And so the one side of it is just your body cloth. It's the exact same thing as your body cloth. The other side is this exfoliating um, feel. And I actually really like this for shaving. So many of you guys are loving using the body cloth to replace your shaving cream. Turn this over and now you can use it, you know, this way, because all we're doing when we're using the body cloth is we're exfoliating our skin in a way to remove all the dead skin cells, right? And so this exfoliating mitt does a really great job with that. Or of course, you can still use the regular body cloth side um, to use in place of your shaving cream for that. So I love the body scrub mitt. Um, this is just, I think it's easy too, because then you have, you know, your body cloths, by the sink, this one in the shower. So my, my teenage daughter has one of these um, in her shower. And so they're just easy and they have the little um, handle to, to hold it up on. And again, these have the back lock in it, that micro silver that breaks down all the bacteria stuck in the cloth to prevent it from smelling. So that's really special with all the Norx microfiber that you get that you're gonna see tonight. It all has this back lock technology. So you use this to wash your body, but then like, what about your back? Like you can only like scrub so much in the back, right? Um, the, this is same idea as the body scrub mitt, but it is a back scrubber. So, and it's long and it's got these really fun handles. So take it in the shower. It's easy to wash your back. Anybody have back knee? Right? So a lot of you are finding that the body cloth is really helping with all of the, the facial acne that you have. People with the back knee, it's same idea with the body cloth on one side. You can even flip it over um, for that exfoliating side that we also had on the body scrub mint as well. So and again, these handles are really easy to then just hang it in your shower. So that is the back scrubber. And again, has that Norax back lock technology in it. If you want a little bit more exfoliating, this is our exfoliating mitt. It kind of fits on your hand, just like this. Um, this is very rough, okay? I would say it's even more rough than this side of the body scrub mitt, okay? Just for a little bit of reference. But this is great. You know, like once, once a week, maybe once every other week, it's really good to just exfoliate our skin. So get it wet with water and just go to town. If you have really dry skin, this might not be the, the one for you, okay? Um, but if you just have really oily skin and a lot of just like grossness on your face, I get like that. Using this, you know, every once in a while, it can be really nice and refreshing on your skin. So the exfoliating scrub mitt. Um, and then you can turn it over and it's very suede. So you could even use this side wet for like just a really gentle wash on your face as well. Um, or to follow up after you scrub all that stuff off, turn it over and now you can take all that stuff and get it off your face that we just scrubbed. Um, another option with those, we have these little facial pads. So many of you guys are enjoying using um, the, the body cloth to remove your makeup. Some people like these smaller ones. They come in this little carrying case, which is great because then it's easy to pack them and take them on the go. You could just put them all in there, zip it closed and throw this whole thing in the washing machine so they don't get lost. Um, they come in 
you get five of these in here, okay? So they're gonna last quite a bit. Uh, this, the one side is literally just the body cloth. So body cloth to remove all that makeup, and then you could turn it over. And some people, especially if you have really sensitive skin, this is more of like a suede texture. You could also use this side to remove your makeup or to wash some of your face. Um, but again, like this side would be a lot more for sensitive skin, or maybe use the body cloth side, remove all the makeup, and then turn it over just like one more quick wipe down at the end with that suede side as well. So a lot of personal preference, depending on your skin type, depending on, you know, what you like for that feel in your hand as you're doing things. Some people really love these. Some people just really want that full size body cloth. Um, I know some of you guys uh, receiving your body cloths, maybe you've got a full size body cloth from, from the team member who um, invited you to this challenge. And there are smaller body cloths. And there's many of you I know who did receive one. They work just as well. They work just the same. But I have heard some of you saying like, it is kind of small. So this is the regular size body cloth. And I just wanted to give everybody like a sense of, you know, what that size looks like. It is pretty large. And just so you know too, they do come in a pack of three. So whenever you do buy body cloths for yourself, they come in a pack of three. So, you know, if you're using them for yourself, now you have one and you could change it out every like four to five days. You could have one for each member of the family. Um, lots of different ways that you can use that. But guys, my body cloth travels with me anytime I go anywhere because it is just, it's my favorite. And I think many of you guys are finding the same thing, right? Um, all right, a couple more things. This is a smaller one and it's actually called a baby body cloth. These also come in a pack of three. And compared to these body cloths, I would say they're just like a hint, um, hint softer. So, you know, we always talk about baby skin being really sensitive, right? And we always wanna make sure we're careful on what detergents we use with babies and how we're washing their skin. Well, if you can wash your body with just a body cloth and water, we can wash our baby with just a small body, baby body cloth that's super soft in water. And honestly, that is gonna be the safest thing for their skin. Um, I have five kids, so we've used these on lots of our babies. And again, just like bathing them with a cloth and water and it works so they don't stink. You know, you guys are experiencing that this week. They don't stink and it is just so gentle on them. And it's so easy too, because babies most of the time are squirmy. They don't want to be there in the cold water. <laughs> so as fast as you can, right? So, so these are a great alternative, great for baby shower gifts too. Um, and then to dry them off, I love, we have this beautiful baby bath towel. Um, again, it's our soft microfiber towel. It's got the hood for them. Um, all of our microfiber is super absorbent. So you'll find all of our towels are just super, super absorbent for water. They all have that backlog, so they're not gonna get stinky. And it's great to um, put them in this when they're done. This also comes with a matching um, baby washcloth as well, so that you could use maybe in place of this one um, to wash their body, again, with just water. Uh, we do have adult bath towels as well. And I love, like, we don't wash our bath towels as often anymore because we have the Norex bath towels because they just don't smell like typical bath towels do. So I love, um, my, my, it took my husband a while to get used to them because he's like, they're not as thick as, you know, like the ones we got from our wedding registry 13 years ago that are, you know, the Bed Bath & Beyond, like super thick ones. But he's like, they actually are a lot nicer, you know, and he's finding like when he goes back to use them or if we go to like a hotel and he's using towels, he's like, oh, I miss my Norex towels. <laughs> So there's a couple styles. This is the plush one. If you guys have any of the plush body cloths, you'll notice too the difference. Like this is how it feels on one side of that plush body cloth. Again, personal preference. Um, the regular towels are a little bit similar to uh, the body cloth feel. Again, super absorbent. They fit great around you. So I wrap mine around me um, when I get out of the towel as a wrap. I love my bath towels and they dry fast too. And they're super absorbent on your body. Um, and then you can get matching hand towels for them as well. So hang it over um, as well. So these are great. Um, let me see. Oh yeah. So Mary was saying like, you just get this like really wet and you can lay that on top of like the baby too when you're bathing them, which is really, really great. Um, all right. And then, oh, sorry, one more thing. 
One other fun option when bathing kids, uh, Norx has these bath sponges. And who's ever heard of a sponge with back lock in it? Um, so again, that idea that there's like some kind of micro silver in this sponge that's gonna break down bacteria stuck in it so it doesn't smell. Um, I don't know if you know, if anybody use a loofah in the shower, those things are disgusting. They have so much bacteria in them, growing in them. Um, so the Norx bath sponges, they have this fun little handle so you can use it um, to, to bathe. I just keep this in my kid's shower. They put some soap on it and use it. You could use just water as well, but I did say soap. So <laughs> people are like, what? All right, so there are a couple things, um, you know, like be, if we're getting away from the idea of like a cloth and water, some people are like, oh my gosh, I need something. Okay, Ment it's a mental barrier for some. We have, oh, I don't have it with me, um, a four-in-one kits wash. It's a, um, for bathing, it's a bubble soap, it's a shampoo. You can use it for shampoo as well. Um, and so you could use that with a body cloth. You could use that with a bath sponge. You could use it with a body scrub mitt. And it's, it's a great um, chemical-free um, soap for kids. And so again, the whole idea we're looking at this and saying, how can we make our bodies healthier? We know it only takes 26 seconds, seconds for anything we put on our skin to get absorbed into our bloodstream. So all of those chemicals that enter, um, that are in the products we use every day that we're putting on our skin, get absorbed into our bloodstream and then our organs. And it's crazy because sometimes our body can break some of that down. And sometimes it can't break down because those chemicals are so bad and they stay in our bloodstream and they stay in our organs forever. So much so that they have found an average of 200 chemicals in the, um, the cord blood of newborns. Isn't that shocking? And that's because of what we're putting in our bodies that's staying in our bodies and getting passed on to our kids and their kids and their kids. Yikes. Okay, so we really need to be... Um, taking a look at what we're using in our home and on our bodies, cloth and water, easiest solution, right? But there are a couple things to go with it. Now, some of you guys are saying like, I've got some dry skin going on. Sometimes we need some moisturizer. Sometimes we need some lotion. Norx has a really great um, body lotion that is very natural, chemical free, okay? A lot of um, just plant-based ingredients, some essential oil ingredients, um, very healthy for you. And they also have a body wash as well. So if you're using your body scrub mitt or you're using your body cloth in the shower or the sponge, you're saying, gosh, I just need something else. This is kind of odd. Even though many of you find it, are finding like body cloth and water is super sufficient all by itself, right? If you can't get past that mental roadblock of not using anything, Norx does have a um, body wash that you can add to it. It's safe for the cloths, it's safe for your body as well. Deodorant, we did say you guys could use deodorant this week, um, but I, again, I encourage you to think about what is in your deodorant. Um, uh, Shelly, the fragrances, not really. Like if it does, it's super, super light, but I don't really notice any fragrance with it. So, and so a lot of people who struggle, there's a lot of people with sensitivities to fragrances. Um, so that really like a lot of these products because they don't have the fragrances that most of them do. Um, Norex deodorant, make sure you're using a deodorant with no aluminum. When we put it under our body, this is very close um, to the leading cause of of cancer, breast cancer, okay? So it, it's very easy for that aluminum to get in our bloodstream. A lot of other chemicals in deodorants out there causing a lot of issues in our bodies. Um, I love the Norx deodorant. It's got prebiotics in it, prebiotics. And what that does is it helps break down the bacteria in our body. Sweat is normal, but the, when the sweat mixes with bacteria, it causes, um, bacteria to grow more and it causes us to smell. And so we wanna get rid of the bacteria so we can have more natural pH levels than that, you know, when we're sweating, it's just sweating on clean skin and not causing the odor, all right? So what you're finding when you're using the body cloth is you're not smelling because you're getting rid of the bacteria that's on your skin so that even when you do go and sweat, you're not smelling as much because it's not mixing with the bacteria on your skin. You guys seeing how this all makes sense now? Um, some of you guys mentioned too um, the idea that, you know, after you wash your face, 
Um, yeah, Teresa, this will be posted so you can come back to it for sure. Um, and welcome to anybody who's watching the replay as well. Um, last thing, some of you guys have mentioned like after I wash my face, it just feels a little dry. Again, everybody's skin type is very different. And especially a lot of us are still in winter. I'm in Michigan. So we're like, today we had like, it was in the 60s. And we were like, oh, it's glorious. It's spring. Um, I know it's not going to last though. So we still struggle with some of the dryness on our skin. And so I do, because my skin is also getting older, I do want to put other things on my skin to take care of it, to help um, reduce some of the aging and the spots on my skin, to help um, keep it fresh and moisturized. Again, I strongly consider you guys, ask you guys to consider like what are you putting on your skin and what is in it? What's getting absorbed in your body? So just a few alternatives to this, okay? Norex has a fabulous day and night cream on our Lacer line. Again, very um, plant-based ingredients that are very natural. Um, it provides just some light moisturizer on it. There's an eye cream as well that they have for all my bags under my eyes because I have five children and I need that. <laughs> right? Um, and then there's an illuminating oil as well. And so especially if you have some dry skin, this can be a great moisturizer for that as well. We also have a new uh, renewing serum, which is great for like the fine lines and some of the wrinkles. Um, if you have more um, advanced skin, so we say like, you know, when you're like 50 and up, we have a timeless line. So this is our Lacer line and we have another um, skincare line called Timeless. And that's meant to be for your skin as it is getting older in that way. So, you know, just some of those like with the wrinkles and the, the age spots and stuff that you will experience more, it's meant to help with some of those. All right, I just threw a lot of fun, what we call cousins of the body cloth, right? Some alternatives to use, um, some things to supplement the body cloth. And so comment with any questions you have, even if you're watching the, the replay on this, we can go in and answer these later as well. Um, so, oh, Shelly, I'm reading yours. It's not letting me like see all of it right now. Um, I just see breakouts from sweating at teen athlete. Um, honestly, like the body cloth, it is, has done so much for my skin with breakouts. Um, I have a 12 and a half year old daughter and I can tell when she doesn't wash her face. I hope she's not listening. Um, she starts breaking out and I'm like, go wash your face with a body cloth. And she does. And it clears it right up. And so what I would recommend, you know, like after she's working out, after she's done, um, you know, with her sports practice or game or whatever, like keep this with you. So use this, get it wet and use this for like your wipe down. So all of that um, is just not sitting on your skin. But really, I think if you can just like wash your face day and night with this too, like getting rid of that bacteria, so the bacteria is not sitting on there, I think that will help a lot too, just with those breakouts and maybe not necessarily related to her being an athlete, but just a teen, right? <laughs> it's what they all go through. And many of us are still struggling with that as adults, but I've seen a lot of you guys, um, this has been helping so much. So I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to hear more testimonials and how it goes the rest of the week. Let us know any questions you have about any of these um, products that we shared tonight with you um, or any comments about them as well. So thanks again for participating this week, guys. And stay tuned. We have some more fun coming up this week too for you guys, more surprises for you. Can't wait.